All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to continue The Millionaire Real Estate Agent by Gary Keller, Dave Jenks, Jay Papasan. Papasan. I don't even know how to say his name right. I'm sorry, Jay. We were in pictures together. I should know. So we're on to um, chapter 10, the organizational model. Let's go ahead and start with this, right? The organizational model is about your organization. Who are you hiring? When are you hiring? Why are you hiring? Let's talk about the real estate business because first you have to be a good agent. We talked about this. You have to be a good, incredible agent. And then after that, you build a good, incredible business that could sustain without you particularly doing everything, right? So your organizational model, let's go ahead and start. You do all you can do. You go as far as you can go. You get all the results you can get. And when you can't go any further, you look for help, okay? This, this help should come in the form of a talented person. I want, I want to make sure that everybody pays attention to that little area. People are always asking me when or how they'll know when it is time to hire their first person. I tell them that it is like knowing when, a, when to hire a contractor or a maid. We could easily do most of the work that needs to be done around the house, but at a certain point in our lives, we realize that our time could be better spent on other things. We start looking for help at home in a very natural way. When you don't have anyone to do that work for you, it is like a second job. On Thursday nights, you're a housekeeper. On Saturdays, you're the lawn man, and so on. In other words, if you don't have a maid, you are one. If you don't have a lawn man, you are one. And in business, if you don't have an assistant, you are one, okay? At the beginning of your real estate career, you are a lead generator, a showing agent, a seller, listing agent, a bookkeeper, a runner, a call co coordinator, and many other things all in one. When you're having fun, when you're feeling over... In, fun or you are feeling overwhelmed, it is the time to find some help with your other jobs. You don't have enough arms and legs to do everything all the time. In fact, at some point, everyone should aspire to have assistance just to avoid burning out. And the leverage that hiring someone can bring to your business is the fastest, surest way to continue up the path of becoming a millionaire real estate agent. Let me talk to you about hiring, right? So again, we built our business from scratch, right? In the beginning, they say you should hire an assistant first. I'm gonna go off to this a little bit and I'm gonna say what you need to do in the beginning is make sure you get yourself a transaction coordinator, okay? The reason being is it because it costs you per deal, okay? And sometimes if the deal doesn't happen, you don't have to pay as much, right? where an assistant is a full-time job. In the beginning, we try to give the full-time job, but the personality of most assistants, they don't really care about the commission part of it as much as they do the um, the assurance, you know, the insurance of having a good quality job. And if you don't have the money and you're trying to be, pay them like, oh, if we close this deals, we'll pay you this and this and this, they need a base salary. We try to hire assistants based like we'll pay you a portion and then we'll pay you this. It just never worked out. We couldn't find good ones in the beginning. So just get yourself a transaction coordinator and uh, you could push that pretty far, at least to 50 deals, right? 40, 50 deals, no problem. Once you get to the level of what I've been telling you and you put away 30, 40, 50% back into your business, right? Now you have business accounts and you're going into the budget model. Now you're in the organizational model. You could take that money now and now you have money for a salary, okay? Uh, the three key areas of your organizational model, number one, when doing all you can do, hire administrative help, right? So we just hired an administrator full-time and... Um, Finally found an amazing one, right? So it's been a while and we've been going through a bunch and thank you, right? Now, hire talent. You gotta hire talent. I think that everybody's a nice person, more, more or less. And uh, when it comes to talent, they're self-motivated, right? If you find yourself having to tell these people that do this so you could live good, do, listen. The people you hire on any level have to be self-motivated. There just is no other way. 
So if you're going into the organization, now I'm talking to the people that are getting hired, and um, you're not moving them forward, they're constantly pulling you, maybe you should step up and start doing your job, right? Nobody ever had to tell me what to do. I was out there working my ass off, right? Still to this day, we're out there working. So hire talent. Talent pushes to talent is self motivated. That's my thing. I think people that are talented are really somebody has to be self motivated. Talent pushes to get answers. Talent shares your goals and fulfills your needs as natural byproduct of fulfilling their own. Right, that's them being motivated. Talent knows what it wants or is actively searching to know. Talent pushes you constantly. Talent is continuously raising the bar and wants to be associated with talent. So talented people want to be on amazing teams. Okay, the cost of a bad hire, three to four months, right? Interview process, getting them ready to go. And uh, you spend a year with them and then you have to let them go. And you come out of it very frustrated, right? So a year of time wasted. That's how important it is to not let the wrong people into your organ organization. The opportunity of a great hire, right? Same three to four months training and hiring process. In six to eight months, you come out of that excited and energized and that person is moving your business forward, right? So you hire the wrong person, I'm gonna bring you down over time. You hire the right person, little by little, you're gonna see better results for the business. Number three is train and consult. Train them, then let them take action, then consult them. That's the right way to do it. The wrong way to do it would be to hire someone, say, look at what I'm doing, now go do that, right, on the fly. The best way is to train them, watch them take action, consult them, okay? Um, always have a consultative interview every week. Meet with your employees, make sure you know where they are, where you are. And you as a business owner, when your business really starts growing, now you're going from just business into leadership. So all of a sudden you have to become a better leader because now guess what you're doing? Guess what you're doing? You are leading people, right? And the organizational model shows you who will do what as you add some people to your business growth. Hire administrative help first. They will systemize and document your business. Always hire talent. It will pay you back big when you take the time to find and keep talent. Train and consult your people for maximum productivity and hold them accountable to the standard standards. And that is chapter 10, the organizational model from the Millionaire Real Estate Agent book. My name is Dave, DNA Realty Group. I built my business from one deal to over $750,000 in commissions in 2020. And we're on our way to building our million dollar real estate agent business. Pretty awesome. If you have any questions, comments, or any input you wanna give, go ahead and comment below. If I can answer your questions, I'll be happy to do that. If you have referrals for me and my team, we are licensed in Massachusetts and we are licensed in New Hampshire.